Hey everybody, it's Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Athletic Turf. I'm out here in Milwaukee. I'm at uh, Miller Park, and I'm being joined by Michael Betcher. He is the Director of Grounds. Michael, thanks so much for taking the time and giving me the tour today. Yeah, not a problem, Seth. So, uh, first of all, just give me a little bit of background about yourself, where you're from, how'd you get into this business, uh, where you've been, educational background, etc. Yeah, business I never thought I'd end up in, but I am. I'm just a small-town farm kid. Uh, here from West Central Wisconsin, grew up loving agriculture, working outside, working with the land. That's that's what I love. And uh, went to college uh, here at UW Madison, yeah. and uh, kind of found uh, stumbled upon this as a profession. Uh, taking some classes, uh, talking with my advisor, uh, and stumbling into it. Uh, my first job off the farm was an internship here with the Brewers as as a landscape intern back in '04, and uh, it just kind of went on from there. Uh, 06, I got a chance to go to Boston and work for the Red Sox there for a summer and learn more of the field side of things. Um, and then I actually came back here, was given the opportunity back in 2009 to come as, out as second assistant here uh, at that time. Fantastic. Well, the, the, the field is looking great out here. Uh, I, I know just as I was walking through your shop, a whole lot of red equipment in there. Uh, and we got to kind of chit-chatting about it. You want to tell me about some of your favorite pieces of uh, Toro equipment that you guys are using out here? <laughs> Where to start? Uh, got a lot of fun toys back there. I, I look at them as my toys, our toys here, and uh, Toro does a great job with us. Uh, they work with us hand in hand, making sure we're taken care of every year. Um, you know, we got a couple ones that I guess I'll highlight. Uh, those uh, 3300 Triflex uh, Greens Greens Masters. They uh, they do they do very well out here for our outfield. We we have a pair of those going out here almost every day. Do us very well. Um, the uh, Pro Core 648, man, don't know where we'd be without that one. Yeah. Very cool. Don't forget about that old school edger I saw in there. What about that old? Oh, that was... man. Yes, that thing. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'd do without that. Every day I, yeah. I bring that thing out here. Most times it takes me a while to warm up the managers and the part-time guys to warm up to it. But as soon as they operate it once, they ain't ever turning back. Well, Michael, one thing I think people will obviously notice about this park is that there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on where we've got some shade issues on the on the field. You're not getting as much light as you probably want, uh, and you guys are utilizing stadium grow lights for the first time out here. Talk to me a little bit about uh, getting them out here and the results you've seen. Yeah, uh, we are. We're attract retractable roof structure out here. We're actually uh, this is September 16th today. It is mm -hmm. and. Uh, we're standing in the shade already. It's only about 3.15 in the afternoon. So we do, we have some light restrictions here because of the stadium that we're in. Uh, we did uh, get an opportunity to bring in grow lights this year to help us out. Um, they've been working wonders for us. We've had an interesting season this year. Uh, we started the season with a pretty pretty rough spring here in Milwaukee. And uh, we're, uh, we use these almost every day to, uh, to help us get the grass going, get it stronger. And, and they have, they've done a, a lot of wonders for us. So they've helped us extend the the quality surface surface that we try to put out every year, uh, we ex helps us extend it to the front start of the season and all the way now to the end of the season. So you can see a couple of the little ones here in the background. Um, we're just doing a couple spot treatment on high traffic areas to really get that grass as strong as we possibly can. And uh, at the end of the day, it is. It just helps us produce that uniform quality surface that we strive for every day here. Great. Okay. Well, guys, this is the home of the Brewers. This is a uh... Smiller Park, and it looks great. This is Michael Betcher. Michael, thank you again for taking the time. Thank you, Seth. Okay, and thank you for watching Athletic Turf News.